vaccination Friday. Yeah, I'm not going Closer and more accessible to you, the Ministry of Health has re-strategized its campaign to roll out COVID-19 vaccinations by going mobile. On Friday, a temporary tent was erected near the Groselay minibus parking lot for people desirous of accessing the life-saving vaccines. We know that people are busy and they have things that they need to get done. So whilst they go around their normal business, be it at a shopping mall or at the bus terminal waiting for their buses, at supermarkets, we have vaccination being done on site. Director of Health Education at the Ministry of Health, Natasha Lloyd Felix, says the mobile vaccination effort also caters to people seeking clarity on the COVID-19 vaccines. Um, we have chosen to use this to do a lot of dialogue and education and a lot of listening to the concerns of the public because we know there are questions people have and they need information to help in making an informed decision to get vaccinated. Thus far, Lloyd Felix notes a positive response from members of the general public who have access to the mobile clinic. A patron at the mobile site, Neri Gilbert, touted the convenience of the location. I came to take the vaccine to be safe. Yeah, I believe in the vaccine. My mother from Florida told me she took it and nothing, so she told me go and take it. And she's, since she's the one that's responsible for me, I came to take it. I wouldn't feel any side effects, nothing. I didn't even feel the prick. The, the woman was so gentle. I asked, her, I asked her if she had gave it to me already. She. Yes, it's good so, because there are some people that can travel far or they can't go nowhere because some people in war, some people this and that, they don't have transportation. Bring it in the areas, that's the right thing. A loudspeaker blaring music drew the attention of onlookers and beckoned interested individuals to visit the mobile clinic to get vaccinated as the island seeks to achieve population immunity. Sula Alfred, HTS News Force.